So my friend, uh, I have a bad news for you. You, you know, your wallet is empty. Uh, if you have your crypto wallet, it's completely empty. And uh, I guess that majority of people do not understand this concept, or maybe they understand this concept, but they don't uh, <coughs> understand fully what it means. Because, you know, uh, if you open your pocket, that is, uh, you could find some shines, euros, or some other things, the credit cards and so on. Uh, we're not discussing the concept of the money at all, and that it's just collective agreement and so on. It's, it's not the topic of this video, but what's actually stored in your uh, crypto wallet? Uh, it doesn't matter if you use Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other, or maybe you have a wallet that allows you to manage different cryptocurrencies. But it's not Bitcoin in your wallet. And uh, if you're the NFT owner, then, you know, uh, it's not NFTs in your wallet. So what actually is in your wallet? That it's a good question because we have quite different architectures for the wallets. And you could uh, read my articles about the different types of wallets. And for example, how the SSI wallet will differ with the classical crypto wallet. But if you take the classical uh, crypto wallet, then, you know, probably you have two kinds of wallets. You have the deterministic hierarchical wallet, and then uh, only one thing that stored somehow, it's uh, the encrypted seed and configuration of your wallet that allows you to generate the, the public and private keys to manage your uh, blockchain accounts. Yeah, and uh, if you uh, use more modern blockchains and slightly different approaches that take to the consideration that uh, seed it's quite big uh, security risk, then maybe you have the real private keys, but that's it. You just have the private keys that uh, allow you to get the access to your accounts. And maybe in the future with the huge movement in a Ethereum community, uh, it's not to be true anymore because your wallets will be agents or the smart contracts and you will have the smart uh, contract wallets uh, that are driven by um, the new approach how the Ethereum see the accounts and work with the account abstraction. But that's it. But you know, then it's a reasonable question uh, what we actually own and looks like that uh, only one thing that you own it's just a <laughs> private key. And uh, where is your Bitcoins? So with the Bitcoins, that's a bit easier because your Bitcoin is just a state of the blockchain. So we calculate all the transaction, as a log, find a um, non-spendable uh, actually transactions. And actually it's amount of your uh, Bitcoin on your account uh, with the NFTs, it's a bit more tricky because, you know, the NFT is just the record of the ownership of some asset in a smart contract and it's, uh, let's say, less secured as we could all think about. So, the answer that your assets is not in your wallet. Your assets is um, not in your direct ownership because you don't have this physical commodity that you own, even for the NFT. So your ownership somehow recorded in the state of the public blockchain. And even if you go and set up a completely full copy of the blockchain and node, uh, it still <laughs> not belong to you. And it's important to understand that Web3 uh, in general, together with the blockchains, have quite specific view on the ownership. Yeah, it was the revolution of the Bitcoin that gave us back uh, the possibility to own the assets, but the assets itself actually just recorded in a, a public state of the chain and it's more the huge trust and 
social agreement that we all trust that this blockchain in one day will not disappear, it will not be modified and uh, smart contracts for example that are uh, the Ethereum innovation it's yet another uh, risk factor that you know maybe blockchain is stable but something could happen with your smart contract so your wallet is empty your uh, cryptography wallet is empty but your SSI and Web5 wallet is not because then you have the assets that are a bit ephemeral for sure but you could touch them with your hands so that's it think about this and see you next time choose